Hi, welcome to this uh, computer system, which normally I show you. So, 1906. I just wanted to show you that our ISOs are on Ctoast. Let's see if Google finds this thing like this. Well, first thing needs to go. Yes, my windows are open. It's a bit hot. So this is our Arcanlinks data center. And the official ISO is here. But the prior to the official ISO, you can also test it on the AAG or the Linux auditing group. So many questions came, could I be a beta tester? So this is your time. You can beta test this thing and then tell us if it's okay or not. And then we're gonna release it. Basically, this is going to be removed, uh, actually not removed, moved to this. So one folder to the other folder and this guy gets a 19.05 there. So yes, we were going to build a little bit, a little bit less of these Arcanlinx B guys, but since we have a new Calamaris with new configurations, we've built them anyways, tested them all and all, they all work. So now it's up to you to test them. And uh, next month, of course, we'll not build all these beta versions. So the only thing you have to do as always is update. That's as simple as that. So get yourself this 1905, which I'm not sure I have it because the video is going to be about how to upgrade. So 1906.1 is coming pretty soon. At this point, I'm thinking more around 8th and 9th rather than the 15th. We'll see. Anyway, you need to stay rolling if you can stay rolling there's no need at all you can do whatever you want but the idea of arch linux and Arch linux and all of the arch linux um, based guys is that they are the same as arch linux and that's a rolling release it means you install it once and you just keep updating 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 you never really reinstall unless you say i've broken everything Nothing works anymore. That's the moment when you say, I'm gonna distro hop maybe as well, or reinstall. So the ISO is inside here, 1905. I'm gonna move to 1906 with my super F7 template clone 1905.2. Optical drive, choose image to the downloads this guy double click make it full screen control f boot i think i'm now gonna close the windows if you don't mind for a moment so it will be still some background noise but less anyway so arc linux and american english you choose whatever you want it's whatever you like it to be in language. But, um, well, you see this this design, the, the, the I'm gonna reboot the shutdown. The, the screen resolution was bad because of I didn't full screen it. So it's easier for my video to actually do the right thing. Control F in the beginning, and then he'll figure out how big my screen is. 1920 on 1080 which gives me a full HD video that's how to do it so Calamaris is our installer it's not ours I can mention that as well in this video and we are working with the latest one 3.2.7 in the next ISO and this ISO is the one from May so meaning 3 0.2.7 so there was nothing really new didn't change any con configurations there but in 3.2.8 so a new calamaris from github.com calamaris so if there are problems with the calamaris install it's actually it might be of course article links that we did some wrong in set something wrong in the settings but often it's the case that you should report on the github.com slash calamaris and say technically I've done this, I've done that, I've done this and I get an error. So let's install everything. If you do everything normal in the sense uh, normal is, is just do what I do, 
So just keep on clicking, not make any manual um, partitions and all that. Just say this, then we will be in the clear. Remember Calamaris is a beautiful installer, six screens, seven screens, you count them, and you have a Linux system up and running. What's more, it's a free system, guys. It's a free system. Alamaris doesn't ask us any money at all. So the only thing we can do as a payback for them is to support them by saying, okay, I have a problem when I use this and that and that combination, then we get an error. Please, could you take a look at it? That's all we can do. Um, we are not paying for any of it. So github.com, Calamaris, that's where you should go if there are issues. Now with this ISO, you still can't encrypt your hard disk, but in the next one, so 1906, if encryption is your thing, what does that mean? There's a video online to see what happens when you boot up. So the installation is exactly the same thing, more or less, there's this, this um, uh, how do you say, an option that you say, okay, I wanna have an encryption, then two passwords pop up, two, two fields, uh, should be the exact the same password. And then when you boot up, everything is installed, you get this, this question, hey, uh, what's your password? And we, we see actually a black screen, it's just prior to the grub. So even grub didn't, didn't start, before that, they ask you a password. Then it takes a long time to check that's the, the correct password, and then it starts decrypting everything. And you'll see that, um, well, everything loads up, but it's a little bit slower. That's still on my to-do list. I made a video, it's on, on the virtual box. I should do it also on SSD to feel, it's a gut feeling really, how much do I lose by encrypting everything in speed, all right? So the responsiveness of your operating system will go down when you encrypt, but security will go up since if nobody knows the password, they can't boot from your hard disk, they can't get at your data. All right, so you know all of this. Maybe there are some people who are new to Article Linux and watching the video. Go and have a look at Article Linux Hello. Super interesting. All the stuff is in here, what you need to know. We use Vivaldi, and Vivaldi asks your password and never say it's and say continue without password. I don't care. I'm at home, nobody messes with my PC. Arch Linux has three major editions. You take a look at it. So we're actually installing the left one and it's always 64, it's never gonna be 32, a most common question. And everything is installed. So this ISO is for us. Arch Linux ISO is for us. We like it this way. Do not change it. I do not want to change it because it has everything I need to do to, to have a workflow, to have a working system. And if one, and that's maybe important if you hear it already, if one desktop breaks down, we have two more to fix the other one. So it's always interesting to have three desktop, well, two at least. So you always can boot up, up uh, graphically for, for, I don't know, any reason. Now I must say, I think that only happened once or so in, in three, four years. So, but if you're not, um, if, if TTY is new or you don't know what TTY is, then you're happy that you have two desktops. All right, um, still going on. So keeping my speech here, the Oracle Linux D. So we had this thing and then user said, I want to have, um, scripts we want to have scripts and we want to run our own thing and couldn't we no i think we the question was could we have something base a base a base install so without any um desktop environment and that's article Linux d and article Linux d gives you a black screen at the end of the installation minimal it's not themed learn no desktop at all it's very small one gigabyte and it's up to you to start by uh, to install stuff so sudo pacman minus s something and, and or use scripts, use your own scripts, use our scripts, re-edit our scripts, make it their, your own scripts and run afterwards. So that's uh, another thing. Now this is maybe not for the novice, but then there is also after some point in time, we had the knowledge 
to share also the Arc Linux B ISOs in the sense that this is still this thing. These guys are actually just spin-offs from the Arc Linux ISO. This is getting rid of everything regarding desktops and, and uh, etc. And this is actually a spin-off from this guy. This gives us XFCE, but also i3, also BSP, WM, also Plasma, etc. So it's an, an, a copy of, and that's why it's always going to be XFCE. I guess I'm finished now. Yeah, that's why this look of Arcanix B, the delivery system is always XFCE because we have a spin-off from this guy. But in this, in this, um, well, you can have a look at the website arcanixb.com. At uh, this uh, particular uh, ISO, you just say, okay, I want to have uh, awesome BSP, WM, Budgie, Cinnamon, Deeping, Gnome, i 3 Mate, OpenBox, Plasma, QTL, PFC, and Xmonad. So we are at 13 desktops you can choose. And this is the full version, the version that we say, this is our workflow, this is the software we need. And this is a minimal. So get rid of this, get rid of that. And you can make it even more minimal. It's up to you. It's just a file. You need to change a hashtag you put in front of a text and then save, run. And you have an ISO as a result. Okay, you check other things like HAP and FAC, etc. here above there. That's nice as well. Do not show. Yes. Restart. Yes, done. And then we're going to update. That's the proper thing. That's the, the topic of the video. That's why we're making this because we want to show you that we still can go on and go on and go on and that's what's called rolling no change no no uh, not so necessary to actually do a clean install only if you like to because of well issues or things you've you've altered and changed and you don't know anymore what's original what's changed and etc so that's XFC, right? So you have open box and i3 if you want to switch, if you want to learn. That's one of the things. Arc Linux gives you a learning curve. You'll see that in the page I've just shown you. And, and maybe it's interesting for, well, people who would like to dive into Linux in general that they start with Arc Linux. First, you start with XFCE, which is pretty much standard looking if you come from Windows, right? said it correctly this time um, so there's software software you recognize you can install more software less software it's all up to you but um, at some point in time you can go to open box which is kind of completely strange right mouse click you have a menu yes but all the rest of the menu the start menu is gone and so on and in i3 you're even more amazed because then it's a tiny window manager which is pretty well scary for the most of people the first time but it's um it's okay if you have somebody to guide you and that's the point in Arc Linux you have above 900 videos i'm guessing at this point in time already so that's um pretty pretty much uh, a lot of stuff to to learn and to see and i tend to repeat from time to time that's the one i guess so yeah, I'm afraid I can't change this thing to Arc Linux, but here you go, 949 uh, videos already about Arc Linux. All right, so he's updating, upgrading actually, he says, not updating. Now, some things to tell you about updating. There, first of all, first of all, if you ask me to make more videos about updating, I think you'll find plenty of them on YouTube channel. But since updating is that important, we have a Arc Linux category update and has lots of articles just about update, 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 update. All articles are up, uh, about this thing, updating. So take a look. Now, in general, I would say that you watch out for words like Linux. That's one thing. I probably have one in here somewhere. Linux, so we get a new kernel in. That's important, control T. So we are now at kernel 5010 and we're skipping a bunch and go to 1.6. So when you see that coming in, reboot, sudo reboot or shutdown and 
start back up. That's important. And for the rest, oh yeah, for the rest, maybe let's scroll down. If you see these lines and I see the word ETC scale, if you see that pass by, it means that we've changed something in your ETC scale, which means in this case, probably you got a new conkey in and here we have some settings for the variety, the wallpaper. Let's change the wallpaper, next wallpaper. Awesome wallpaper. Now I've had to look for it. It's just variety that provides it. Use it, use the power view at desktop.co. That's where the wallpaper is coming from. I have an account, I say, click on this uh, cloud here and it's gonna sync to my Dropbox and I have about 2,500 websites, people, um, wallpapers. People keep asking uh, to share wallpapers here. They are 2,598 to share. Do join us at Variety at the Stopper. So ETC scale, if that's in there, there are two things. You can actually look for the differences with compare, eh? watch some tutorials about it, or say, never mind. I have no time. I'm gonna click on scale or type scale. If you type scale, you're gonna copy paste everything over, overwrite everything on your home directory with our code. So our code overrides your code. If you change it, if you didn't do anything, doesn't matter. Nothing changed. Well, we improved. So ETC scale, just a quick look. We are already, by the way, up to date. We are now rolling. Scale, control H. This is the, th the stuff we provide you with on the ISO. So this changes all the time. We say we can improve this, we can improve that, etc. There are reasons for all these elements to be there. That's why and how it's tweaked. That's how and why it looks like this. All right, last thing, well, last thing, not really, but if we do this one afterwards, after the update, then the Arch user repository is going to be taken going to be checked and breeze that's correct conky right it's gonna take a while font manager uh-huh back out takes a while too okay so this guy is doing his job bye we'll see you later Control t people keep telling me eric oh this is why it's never changing i just did up that updated everything i was um it was not changed i still have the same system guys I've been saying that in lots and lots of videos. I will keep saying it. This word, this, this text, this distro release 1905 to can be 2000, 2 million, I don't care what the number is here. It is not important. It is super unimportant. But since the question keeps coming back, I've made something. We go to Eric, we go to Bin, we go to Stay Rolling, we go to 19.5, right? 19.5 of May. We, you started with the ISO of May. If you started here with the ISO of March, you have thrown this one and then that one, right? This one, that one, that one. So, Stay Rolling, what did I do? No changes, no removals, no installations, but I used a little command that says, if you find 1905.2, replace it with 1906.1 and where ETC LSB release. That's it, that's what it's going to do, this little command here. So, well, scripts, stay rolling. Done, Control T, 1906.01. Now you didn't have to do it manually. You ran the script and there you got it. You have now the latest release. The version is correct. And if you wait for the AUR, that's down here. Let's see how far he is. That's Pamak Manjaro. So it may be interesting to know that this little guy is coming from Manjaro, right? So there's also Octopi and you really don't need any of these, but it's super interesting to have it around. Why? Because one, it's not uh, in a terminal, it's graphical. Two, you can actually start 
analyzing oh, what's coming from Arch Linux repo. Oh, Eric didn't install that one or that one or that one. So what is in those things? You can actually have a look and analyze. Okay, this is everything from Arch Linux. This is from the third party, so it's not from us. If you want to have Discord, you just need to install it. If you want Dropbox, you need to install it. Just apply and done. At this point in time, you can't because it's it's working here. So it, there's just one installer. So that's something for later. But why do it here? And why not put it in a script? In this case, it's in a repo. So it means sudo pacman minus s discord, sudo pacman minus s Dropbox. When it's coming from AOR, you need to use yay or trison. And here are all the wallpapers, which I do not install. Okay, so you can analyze stuff. And yes, you, you can actually take a look at, at um, for instance, um, let's say, let's take stick with LSB release, for instance. But I think it's not, it's not an underscore. Sometimes it's an underscore and this is a minus. Double click it. Dependencies, it depends on bash. Files, it gives us a file, that's it. And it gives us an application, user bin bin binaries it's an application so and some help so the men men lsb release gonna help us something no manual entry okay strange why it has a man then so the other thing you can do is help come on the found it's an underscore, that's why. And there you see some information. So I'm guessing this thing gone is having is this in here. This package provides that. Uh, it should be, might be it's just in here as well. Can be the same thing. Anyway, you see something graphical. You are talking about sublime text and you wonder what information is there? Okay, this is sublime text, sophisticated text added for code. You see also the version. Maybe it's important for you to know the version. Double click it. What files does this application provide? That's exactly what I do with a new application that I've never seen before. I'm gonna check what's changed on my computer. What did that mm, application do on my system? And all these files and folders are explained. And it's not called sublime to run it is actually called Sublo3. All right, so things like that make you smarter and it's a nice graphical thing. It's done and if you don't trust me, you shouldn't trust anybody, trust only yourself. There you go. Everything is up to date. We're waiting for a screen key update, but that's okay. Um, it'll They will make it. So if there is something out of date, so it's a new version out on a GitHub somewhere of an application you like, and the version on AOR is, is old. Well, you make an account on the AOR, Arch User Repository, and well, log in and, uh, oh my God, still Bing. The worst decision ever from Vivaldi. So, but anyway, so you're on AOR, log in, register login, and then you can say this package or that package is out of date. And then it becomes red and everybody knows, okay, there's probably a newer version flagged out of date on the 1st of June. This is 09-1. You go over here and you see that they have 0-9, I don't know, one maybe. I don't know why it's out of date. seems to me that it's okay, but um, well, it is. Somebody flagged it out of date. And somebody can be any of you, all right? So, there you are. You have a new system. This is pretty normal, Firefox desktop. All good. We did a scale, remember, and, and Plank doesn't really like the fact that you mess with its files. So right mouse click, right left, control key, all right, and then right mouse click, and then you get the preferences. You can set these things, and again, 
right control on my keyboard, right, sorry, left control on my keyboard, right con on, click on my mouse padding, can quit this thing, and I'm blank. And you'll see everything is okay again. Don't mess with my icons, blank says, but if you log out or log in or reboot or do this, you'll have a nice icon again. So there you are, this is the latest release. You are back in, uh, well, up to speed, and we are rolling on 1906.1. Getting out of full screen and stopping the video. Enjoy.